Richard says, does Microsoft have a tool to migrate data between SharePoint online sites in the same tenant? Well, they do, but I think it depends what you mean by data. Uh, so in SharePoint, it's probably going to take the form of a file, in which case moving files from a site to site or, or even library to library, definitely possible out of the box, right in the user experience, there's the copy to and move to features. Uh, you'd probably use them as, you know, on a, a one-off basis for a single file, but you can do them in both. I'm sure there's limits on how much it can move. Uh, it's not the fastest migration service because it's not a migration service, but it is definitely possible to move files around different sites uh, or different teams within the, the same experience. Uh, even OneDrive to SharePoint, OneDrive to Teams, like all of that's possible. It uses all the same file experiences across those, those apps and services. Second part of data that you could be talking about is the uh, list, Microsoft list, SharePoint list data. Now that's a little different. Um, you can't use those copy move to functions anymore. Um, then as I understand it, with the out of the box tools, it would be possibly connecting your list to Excel or exporting your list to Excel and then pointing it to a new destination list. That's kind of kludgy. Uh, if you're comfortable using the Power Platform, you can use Power Automate to start moving the data around. Uh, but that, you know, that might be uh, a heavy handed tool for you and it depends on your comfort level and depends on the type of data that you want to move. Uh, of course, there's plenty of third party tools out there. Um, oh, I totally forgot. Microsoft does have a migration tool that people use to do stuff like file migrations off from off-prem or getting off of uh, older legacy versions of SharePoint. Um, what is that thing called? The SharePoint migration tool. Uh, formerly known as Mover. Formerly known as Mover.io. Uh, that doesn't. That does not do site to site within the same tenant. I think it supports cloud to cloud, like from one tenant to another tenant, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, the other thing I think of too is, again, it goes back to your that question. It's like, what, what do you mean by moving data between sites? Because if you're trying to do a, like a site by site, you're trying to do a reorg or something, again, then, uh, you know, the, you're looking at really a, third-party migration tool and there are a number that are out there that that can help you with that process yep. so uh, you know when i i move data between sites all the time it's called move file that's yep. it um so uh may, maybe it's a simple yes that's that's the answer that richard's looking for but yes again depending on what you're actually trying to move yeah. and you know i, I totally forgot Probably all of us have the OneDrive sync client yeah. on our computers, and that's another way that you can facilitate file moves around. Now, the downside to doing a lot of these is that you lose the version history. You lose the, uh, the modified by, the modified date on a lot of those types of transactions, and that's where third-party tools shine. So, Richard, if you have the requirement to maintain version history, well, I would probably consider a third party tool that will maintain that for you. If you don't and you just need to get over the latest copy, use that move to copy to on a one off basis. If you have larger things in bulk, well, consider that OneDrive sync client. And if you're back to list data, well, then for me, because I'm comfortable with it, I'd be going to Power Automate all day. One other uh, wrinkle in this, are you looking to do it centrally, have an admin go and do this, or are you looking for end users to move this content? Mm -hmm. um, so again, that's another uh, another thing to to, to consider. Um, I mean, you have those all the options we just described that are still true, um, but uh, you know, if you can have end users do this and move the data and don't need to, you don't have to worry about um, the version history of that. Um, then you've got the built-in capability in the platform. Yep. But uh, yeah, so just. Another thing to, sorry, Richard, to wreck your day by making it more complex, <laughs> but yep. uh, depends on what you're asking for. Mm. 
We should have started this one by saying it depends, shouldn't we? We could have just. <laughs> well, it's a good expected. many of these that we've done, we could start by saying it depends. Yeah. Most popular answer ever. Pretty much. We could make a lot of money if we just figured out a it depends matrix. Yeah. That would just guide people through all of these different scenarios. I mean. Yeah, worst consultant ever say it depends and then you uh, provide the screen with uh, the tip amounts. Yes. <laughs> Please tip. Yeah, so if if Richard was over that 20% tip point, I would say if you had more than a dozen files, I probably wouldn't use the move to copy to. You want to go 25% Richard? Then I'll help you do power automate.